cold this morning, boys. It got down to 20 degrees last night. And this thing sat for a couple days now. And this is the first day in about three weeks that I have not fully filmed and edited and scheduled up a video. I'm actually pretty far ahead on my video schedule right now, which I'm proud of, honestly. I mean, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Got a uh, Gorilla Cart in the back there. It's called a Gorilla Cart. That's the brand. And we're going to be putting together a cart for the ETV because I don't know how many of you guys have had ATVs and you're, you've been in the outdoors and hunting and everything. You try your hardest to strap everything on the racks of that four-wheeler and, and it can be done sometimes, but sometimes Sometimes you just need more space. So I got a, a four-wheel gorilla cart that's rated for like 1,200 pounds. I think it said it was 280 bucks. Kind kind of pricey for for a little cart, not really like a legitimate trailer. I mean, you can get a freaking get a freaking lawn care trailer for like eight or nine hundred dollars but you know it'll work and we'll get a lot of use out of it also converts to a just a pull behind heavy duty wagon as well which i kind of thought you know what that would be kind of nice because like when i'm trying to take out feed and minerals and all that other stuff and i'm trying to get back to a spot where the four-wheeler might not be able to fit as well but a cart will might be kind of nice to have or in the deer season in the ohio property taking back feed and stuff in the winter might be a lot nicer to take it back in a cart than haul it all back, you know, on a wheelbarrow or hauling it back on my shoulders, you know, 100 pound sack of feed. It's just kind of a pain in the butt when you're layered up in camo and you're carrying a bow and whatever. We might do that. It'll just really come in handy for that. I was gonna get a two wheel, just a normal pull behind two wheel, small mini trailer, like a lawn and garden style trailer. But I was like, man, it would be great most of the time, but I would just find so many times with what we do with ours, that I would love it to be like a pull behind wagon style for the times that I don't have something to pull it and I just want to be able to pull it back myself with no machinery running like in the deer season when I'm sneaking back. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. We're gonna assemble that tomorrow though because tonight is date night. I'm going out to hang out with the wife. Just have some one-on-one -on -one time, guys. When you guys get super busy, you guys have to understand, it's great to be busy, it's great to, to make money, it's great to run a business or work a job and stay committed and you know, but you have to stay committed to the relationships that matter in this life. I was talking to a guy today that I'm friends with and I was like, you know, like dude, like it, it's so easy for people to lose sight of what's important in this life and lose sight of friendships and lose sight of the importance of investing time into those and next thing you know they just kind of fade out it sucks but it happens when people don't understand the value of spending time with people and the value of investing that time into them to let them know that you appreciate them you care about them stuff like that in Reagan's situation she's my wife you know that's uh, I mean of course I'm, I want to try to make as much time as I can for her you know that's important you know you'd be surprised how many people don't make that a priority and they wonder why their marriage sucks and they wonder why you know their friendship with their wife sucks and it's like dude, it's okay you can take a break just spend time with her it's okay work will be there on monday trust me it will be there it will be back just breathe so it's, it's a thursday today but you know she called me and i was on my way back and i was thinking sometimes i forget but you've got to be willing to just drop stuff and go i, I kind of forgot that it was thursday you know and thursday's our little late night and um, she calls me and she's like, hey, and I'm like on my way back with some stuff. I'm like, I'm so excited to get in the shop. Like we're gonna, we're gonna get in the shop and put this thing together. And she's like, hey, remember what day it is? And I'm like, absolutely, I didn't forget. I'll be home in five minutes and we're gonna go. So uh, that's what we're doing. So you just gotta learn how to put some stuff down, take a breather and just enjoy some of the other moments in life because work will always be here. And eventually we all die. And guess what? Work was just work when we were here. And uh, we're going to be wishing on those last days. If we didn't fully commit to more than just that, we're going to be regretting it. You're not going to think about it until you're in that position. But when you are in that position, you will not wish. I wish I worked more. Unless you're a lazy bum. And maybe you, maybe you will say that. But uh, most people don't ever say, I wish I spent more time working and avoiding relationships. Most people don't say that. So just think about that. Anyways. Uh, I'll catch you guys back here in the morning. It is your last day for 10 times entries towards winning this truck plus five grand 10x entries will not be back. So if you want to get 10 times the bonus entries, 10 times the odds of winning this truck plus five grand compared to one entry, which is what it will be going to here soon, I would grab your orders soon. The time has come. This truck's getting taken to the paint booth. We're going to get the tailgate all redone, refinished up. The dually fenders because they're just chipped up. I mean the whole truck's getting repainted but I'm just pointing out some of the some of the big reasons why 
a lot of scratches the hoods kind of fading out you can see the clear kind of fading on the hood and the top of the truck so we're gonna get the whole truck repainted the paint's just not the best it looks really good from you know five plus feet away but once you get real close and you're really analyzing it you just see a lot of small stuff that just kind of bothers me and so uh we're gonna get this whole thing repainted color matching the rear bumper that we put on it as well and uh getting the whole thing done it's not cheap when you redo the whole thing but the problem is if you just do pieces of it then what you're gonna get which if it, the paint's in really good shape that's fine but when you have a truck where a lot of the paint is either fading or it's gonna start to be fading here really soon it just doesn't make sense to do parts of it because then it's only gonna look good for a couple of years and then it's gonna look like crap so we're gonna just redo the whole thing and believe it or not though it's not gonna seem like it's gone for very long because because we're actually ahead on our video schedule and we're gonna be going on a little trip here but by the time you see this video I'll, I'll already be back it's gonna seem like the truck was gone for like two or three days but really the truck's gonna be gone for like I think about two full weeks by the time we get it back so super excited and uh, we're gonna see how this thing turns out it usually always turns out great coming from Miguel so we're gonna drop this thing off and then we're gonna get back to the barn and continue on assembling a couple of things and show you that gorilla cart it's actually pretty sick and also show you the racks on the ATV it turned out really nice cordless sorry hobby farm noises. We've got a cordless black and decker trimmer. I'm gonna open this up first. I got this for the property work stuff to help trim up, you know, real small stuff around tree stands. Sometimes there's some limbs going up and down ladders that you don't necessarily want to cut entire small trees down, but you just want to limb them back. Walking paths to get to the stands make it trimming briars and small branches sticking out way easier along the trails for maintenance. We can just drive on the ETV and we can just zip down all the small briars and sticks hanging out into the path that we don't want smacking us in the face driving through the trails. We've already got all the batteries for the Black & Decker saw and power tools and, and the other two Black & Decker saws, the circular saw and the saws also. I used to be the type of person that anything battery powered, I instantly thought it was like kind of a joke. After I got a battery powered saw and I have the impact, the drill, circular saw, sawzall, like all the stuff, and I just have literally a small tool bag with like six batteries and two of them are six amper hour batteries, like, I can literally just take my bag of batteries and just take out my battery power tools out to the woods and I don't have to bring fuel and oil. Well, I have to bring oil, but I don't have to bring fuel and, you know, uh, you know, all this, all the different little tools to try to keep a gas powered thing running. I don't know. There's pros and cons. I mean, this stuff's probably not going to last as long, but whatever. We'll see how it goes. Is that all it does? Either the battery's like already almost dead or this thing sucks. So I'm gonna be coating the racks, the rear rack on this ATV today. I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanna see some ATV content modifications, just, you know, TLC on the stuff, and you guys said absolutely, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna coat the rear racks, but I got some sheets of paper to fit under here, much nicer, that way I can get a nice clean coating and not get anything anywhere else. The other thing is too, I'm going to be taking this multicolored tan and red toolbox lid off this ring gun and I'm actually going to be first off getting rid of this cheap spray bomb job and uh, once I get that all scraped off I'm actually going to just tape around the actual little tool ring here and then I'm just going to coat this whole thing that bed liner black it's it's kind of like a flat black but it's rubberized it's not going to be like this big chunky nasty looking stupid coating but that way it'll at least match the racks versus being like the wrong color of tan in red i just feel like you'd be much simpler and actually match something on the atv versus this matches absolutely nothing <laughs> all masked off. I used thin paper this time, that way I could take it on and off. So much easier. So now we're gonna get to coat them up. The 
the rack is coated. Didn't get any overspray on the ETV or seat or anything, which is good. I got like two little drops real quick and I had a towel to wipe them off instantly, so we're good. Um, got the rack all coated up. It's freshly wet right now, so it's gonna take a couple minutes here and it'll kind of settle and even out a little bit, the bubbles and stuff. And then uh, we'll get back to this and we'll take all the paper off once it's dry. But in the meantime, what I'm gonna actually work on is that Gorilla Cart and getting that unboxed because that's what I was originally gonna do when I came out here, but I thought I should probably coat the racks first so they have time to dry. So let's get the Gorilla Car over here, unbox it, and get to throwing that thing together right now. Well guys, we got the wagon all assembled and it's actually Pretty stout. I mean, it's actually pretty. Uh, it's pretty high quality built for what we're gonna do with it. One of my favorite features about this is this right here. So there's a pin, and I like the pins they use. They're all nice, high quality. So there's a pin, but it's not your traditional pin that you have to kind of like pull and you know whatever. Um, but it's not like a traditional style pin. I like this style way more. How it kind of goes through but then also kind of like snaps down over itself like that you just pull your pin out back up the cart let's say you're back in the woods you took the ATV to pull it back as far as you could go and I'm setting tree stands or whatever and the ATV can't go much further but the cart can you can just flip this up you just slide this on up here like this and just throw the pin in it just like that just like that and then you've got a huge hole behind wagon. I mean, this thing is actually like massive. But it's also got zero turn capable steering. So it literally pivots like all the way back. I mean, it's crazy. But the really nice thing about this is that means that pretty much wherever the ATV can squeeze, this will just kind of maneuver around the trail just like the four-wheeler can, which will actually be really nice. Now, the other thing is too, this thing is narrower than the four-wheeler, but not a whole lot narrower. So then you can take the pin out, slide that down, so then you don't have to lose your handle when you're taking it out to the woods. I was thinking that you might have to find a place to put that, but apparently it just slides through itself right down. So that's, that's awesome. And another cool feature about this thing is it dumps too. You just have this big handle here, which is actually it's a huge handle and you just pull the thing up and if you need to you can dump the bed and then it snaps right back down in place it's got tie downs and it's got slots for you to put like if you wanted to put some boards in here to try to build up the sides you could do that as well let's say you're doing firewood and you want to really load it down or here here and the sides so that stuff doesn't fall back out of the thing onto the four-wheeler it's pretty awesome The wagon is narrower than the four-wheeler, but not a ton narrower. Um, it probably is about six inches on each side, less in terms of width than the ATV. And it, the other thing I want to show you too is the rack. I got the rack all coated up. It turned out really nice. Matches the front now. It's like that matte black with that rubberized finish, front and rear. Now the other thing is too, we got this piece all coated up, which turned out super, super awesome because it was like this awkward tan color that didn't match with red underneath so it just looked awful like it looked it was a super major eyesore when you looked at the four-wheeler you just saw like like you just couldn't look at anything else you just saw like this red and tan the wrong tan like the red and cream colored you know cap on this like desert tan ATV and it just it was really out of place and it just really looked bad but it's great now, looks good, functional, and uh, 
it at least matches something now. It's not it's not perfect, but it at least matches the racks and the fenders on it. They're all flat black now. So that's a, that's a plus. And I'm actually gonna be assembling some tree stands here, and I'm gonna show you the main purpose of this cart, because a lot of you might be thinking, dude, like, who cares about the cart, you know? Like, we don't really care, like, or whatever. Some of you might care, because you might be like, dude, that's a sweet thing to have behind an ATV for back in the woods, hauling back feed and tree stands and mineral rocks and all kinds of crap to have the zero turn steering, 1600 pound weight capacity, quick detach wheels and all this stuff. I mean, the thing is stout and it's gonna be awesome for what we're gonna do with it for hauling firewood and all that hunting equipment, all that stuff that I was talking about. It's gonna be, it's gonna really come in handy. And the assembly was the easiest assembly I've ever done on anything. I mean, it was so, so dummy proof. I mean, I mean, it's just unbelievable. And there's other things that I thought were super easy to assemble that were way more difficult in comparison to what this is. So it's literally numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, whatever. And it's got the number of the hardware that goes to the number of the step that you are with the project. So it's literally numbered and then it's got a number next to it. Then you just open up that section of the packet and then you know exactly what to use. And it, like it's, it's just, it's nice. For you guys that can literally tear an engine apart with your eyes closed and throw it back together, you're probably like, this is hilarious. Like he's really concerned about the installation and the instructions on a wagon. No, I, I, I get that. But for the guys that, you know, instructions are important or gals or whatever, I mean, I hate it when you're trying to do something that you haven't done before, even if it is something simple and the instructions suck, because just having to put the bolts in, then take them back out and redo it is so freaking annoying. And I don't like having to do things twice. Time is expensive and you don't get it back. So that kind of thing is just super awesome. So if you want to have a link to this cart, I'll leave a link in the description below to the Gorilla Carts, to Amazon to pick one up. Like I said, this one's awesome. I'm gonna put some tree stands together right now though and assemble everything and throw it in that cart. And that'll make a little more sense as to why I'm going with this cart for this ATV anyway. So I was not able to get all of the assembly on time lapse because my camera only has about five minutes of recording left and I didn't want to run out of card space because I'm actually on my second card today and I only have two. But this is exactly why I wanted this cart. This is essentially what I'm gonna use it for. So I've got it loaded down with two big lock-on stands. These are some of the much bigger style ones or the big game ones with the back rests and the foot rests and mesh seat and all that crap. We've got two of those in here and two sets of ladders. I've got them all um, bundled together separately. And then I've just got two straps over top, which like I said, it's got like small tie downs so you can, you know, put straps over it and uh, fasten everything. But this is what I'm gonna be using this four wheeler and trailer for mostly is, uh, well, A, we're gonna be getting a pull behind bush hog. I'll let you guys know once we get that and how that works out. But we're gonna be doing that and mostly using it to do property work. So hanging stands, putting out feed, minerals, I'm going to check on stuff, hauling deer out, hauling stuff in. I mean, that's what it's going to be used for, and that's what the small, you know, cart is for. And uh, I think it's going to definitely come in handy. I just wanted to show it to you guys loaded down because uh, it fits just about, I mean, it fits two stands perfectly. And if you were wanting to fit more, you could put some small, like, one by twos in those three slots and those two on the back and you could make a little guardrail around it and you could probably stack it quite a bit higher if you really wanted to with stuff because it's a 1600 pound rated cart which it, it's funny because it looks like you know it's a cart and it's rated for 1600 pounds which is like what my small lawn care trailer is rated for 18 or 1900 so it's just kind of funny but um it'll be great for getting back in the woods and the, on the tight trails and stuff and it'll do its job great hopefully you enjoyed the video the dually is off to paint so I don't have it here right now, but every $1 is 10 entries towards winning that truck right now. Not that truck, but that was cool. Today is your last day for 10 times entries towards winning that dually. By the time you see the next one or two videos, you'll probably be seeing the full paint reveal, because like I said, you know, we're quite a bit ahead on our 
video schedule so that this video will be going up like the day or two after we get back from a vacation and then uh, it'll seem like I just dropped the dually up yesterday. But yeah, you get the idea. So anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you wanna get 10X entries towards winning that dually, today's your last day for 10X entries. That deal will not be back. So if you wanna get 10 times the entries, Go to lmpgear.com, buy anything on the store, and as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win times 10. You get hats and hoodies and shirts and backpacks and blankets and cups and mugs, and we got all kinds of stuff. We're, we're trying to expand a ton, and we're trying to create way more products, and you're gonna see a lot of new stuff. We're gonna be introducing some hunting gear and apparel and stuff like that as well, so just stay tuned, guys. Anyways, much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment down below what you thought of this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.